any of the looks where I had the bow tie on. I just rarely get invited to events where I get to wear the bow tie. Nowadays, everyone kind of keeps it more casual, so I like the, uh, I don't know, back to basics sort of formal wear, so it's nice to actually. Probably this one right here. He was great. Um, I don't know, these, these shoots can be uh, a lot of fun or they can be miserable and when you have a good photographer like Brian who's fast and knows what he wants and um, just kind of keeps the pace and keeps, you know, keeps the fun. And he's, he'll, he'll shoot and then he'll scream in the middle of it just to kind of up the energy in the room. <laughs> he kind of does 99% of my work for me. Everything but the traffic, I would say, is pretty great about the city. Um, hard to find fault in any of it, really. You kind of get whatever you want by living in L.A. You can, you can drive an hour and a half, you're in the mountains, you, you can you know, drive 20 minutes, you're at the beach. Um, the weather's always perfect, uh, the people are always good and laid back, and I find it hard to live anywhere else. I did this Nicholas Sparks film called The Best of Me with Michelle Monaghan, and uh, it's coming out in October. We just uh, finished it just a couple months ago in New Orleans. It's another notebook-esque romance, um, so it's a bit of a return to that genre for me. And um, yeah, it was nice to, I don't know, for me it's just always fun to switch gears and do something totally different genre-wise. So I, I finished a Jack Black comedy just before that. Um, a very irreverent, subversive comedy that some people will, uh, it'll be a polarizing one, but, <laughs> but uh, a brilliant one, I think. Thanks for watching. <laughs>